Ephra and his sister have both had to take on this enormous weight of responsibility after their father um, was killed. Not only a kind of familial responsibility, as they only have each other, um, but also the weight of the company. And I think that makes him grow up exceptionally quickly, makes him make bad decisions, as well as some good ones. But also, with the bad ones, uh, he manages to create quite a few enemies, I think. Ephra and Nessa really do need each other. They cling to each other and, and often in amongst all the, the business and the politics and and the revolving door of it all, all they're often longing for is just to give each other a hug and say it's okay. But because they're often in the public eye and are plonked in front of these huge groups of people at these conferences and on stages, they often have to maintain this sharpness and this, um, this kind of public front, I suppose. I remember asking Hugo what was his motivation for writing this ridiculously extraordinary piece of writing. And he said he wanted to deal with an argument and there's no bigger argument on the planet right now than Israel and Palestine. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll take that. At the heart of it is this honorable woman uh, who is just desperately trying to do the right thing. You, When you read it, it's, it's agonizing to read because you think, Come on, give these people a break. You know, they're desperately trying to create peace and do the right thing and, and do the right thing by everyone. And, and yes, that involves a certain amount of change, but good change. Let's, let's go with them on that journey. I remember reading it right from the word go. Just kind of like my jaw seemed to be just on the floor. Well, it, it's a page turner and that's a given. That's, I don't want to sound cliche because everyone says about that every, every script, don't they? But, but it was genuinely, genuinely, genuinely a page turner.